For all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer, and there are some very critical debates that must be answered in life. Coke or Pepsi? McDonald's or Burger King? Wawa or Shell? I don't really think anybody cares about that, but the most important question for an avid horror fan is Michael or Jason? It's the age-old rivalry. Now, nah, I know there's Freddy versus Jason, but I, who cares? They already made a movie about that. Michael and Jason, the two silent killers. Who's the best? Well, it's kind of hard to say. But what I can say is there is a ton of merch out there for these two iconic killers. Some great, and some not so great. And I think that's fair to say. We've seen it. We know it's out there. We find it hilarious. And now I'm bringing it to you uh, and me to experience firsthand. So over here, I have uh, kind of the, the crown jewel of horror masks. The original Halloween Michael Myers from Trick or Treat Studios, which uh, is a beaut is a beaut and goes up there in history with some other iconic masks like Darth Vader's and of course Jason's over here with this really cool solid hockey mask from 13X Studios and this cowl I believe by Ruby's. Now the thing is Ruby's makes good stuff. They make costumes, they make masks, accessories, props, you name it. But I think it's safe to say that we all make mistakes here and there. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're human beings. But there are some mistakes that have to be called out. I was at Walmart and they have some masks that are absolutely, well, I'm about to show you. I, I picked up a Jason and a Michael mask to prove to you that just because something is in our spooky little hearts doesn't mean that it needs to exist. So here we have the knockoff Michael Myers and the knockoff Jason. Now, I picked up these for 14.97 each at my local Walmart. And I think it's safe to say that that wasn't maybe $30 well spent of me, but I know I had to do this video because, oh my gosh, what happened? What happened here? I'm going to take uh, the, the cardboard little bit off. Where's my knife? Uh, not that one. Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers together with me in their maybe not charmingest mask form. Like I said, these are 15 bucks at Walmart and I'm not sure they're 15 bucks well spent. Now maybe if you're a little kid and you're going as Michael Myers for Halloween, who really cares? But if you're someone who's a little more into this than the, the average consumer, you're gonna notice really quickly these are not very accurate masks. Michael here looks like he had a bad accident in the Taco Bell bathroom, and Jason here looks like, well, I I'm not really too sure what he's supposed to look like. I think he is the Taco Bell bathroom, but one thing's for sure, they're, they're very funny. Uh, now, when it comes to determining what movies these are supposed to be based on, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm guessing this is a H2 Myers. I think that's what the tag said. The Halloween 2 mask. This one's just licensed Friday the 13th, but it looks like the Jason Goes to Hell mask, though I'm not entirely sure. I'm guessing that's what it's supposed to be. So we're gonna try these on and uh, give them our best shot. Now you can see when you flip the mask on the inside, it's just, just one big piece 
of rubber. So let's pop this bad boy on. There's my knife, there we go. I mean, does it look like Michael Myers? Not really. It kind of looks... It kind of looks like Voldemort. Uh, and that is that might be an insult to Voldemort, so I, I apologize. Uh, he sh who shall not be named, whatever. Michael Myers, uh, this mask is interesting. I don't think it's as terrible as the Jason because the Jason just looks like the paint is just so weird. At least this you could tell they're trying, but no, no, just no. <laughs> kind of looks like a monkey when you stretch it out. He's got the ears and everything. He looks like a monkey. Now, maybe you could take this and like put it, do something with it to make it better. And I'm sure there's people that can do that. But for 15 bucks, I mean, you could probably do worse. I've seen some real stinkers online, but mm -mm, you even got the little the little uh, Marilyn Monroe birthmark there. So that's that's Mikey Mike. Now on to J Man, uh, Jason. This is this is a 2014 New Line trademark mask. I'm not sure if this is what they want promoting their their movies apparently there's going to be some more friday the 13th in the work but oh well you know this one fits rather well i don't get what's going on with the eye here i don't know if that's supposed to be what, it, what it's supposed to look like but it's like got a hole flap of, over my eye i mean it's kind of kind of not nice but there you have jason you know it's not like terrible but you could get a cheapo ruby's mask at spirit which looks a lot more like jason now what you could do and this this is this is a little improvement get yourself this get that mask like the actual solid uh, hockey mask and put it over this. Make this like the back of your head, like the cowl. Now that would look fine. I can't really say the same for Michael Myers here because the hair is definitely a problem. There's even white paint in it to, to look like it's separated, but I think it just makes him look like he's Mr. Fantastic. So I'm at a loss here. What do you guys think? Do you think these are both complete bombers? Or do you think there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel here? I don't know, but you do. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these two terrible horror masks. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, for all things Halloween, this mm, is Hauntformer.